It's important news for Black History Month. Sickle cell disease is a rare condition that impacts about 100,000 Americans, with African Americans the most affected. Now, a cutting edge gene therapy is offering new hope in combating this painful disease. This father of three, Jimmy Olahare, who suffered debilitating pain from sickle cell disease his entire life, now lives pain free. Any sickle cell related issues? Any pains, aches? No pain? None of that. Aches. I felt like I was living a nightmare. I had just constant lingering pain where even pain medication wouldn't touch the pain. Determined to be a healthy dad, the 38-year-old undergoing groundbreaking gene therapy, recently approved by the FDA. Today I'm feeling great, fantastic, um, probably beyond my wildest dream. The inherited condition turns what should be healthy round red blood cells into a C-shape, limiting hemoglobin in the body, which blocks oxygen and clogs blood flow. There is tremendous suffering, largely from pain and chronic organ damage. And so something like gene therapy really holds the promise of reducing or eliminating pain and potentially improving survival. A medical revolution in the making, transforming the lives of sickle cell patients. Those cells are removed from the patient's body. They are modified in the laboratory. Now, with cutting edge technology called CRISPR, dubbed genetic scissors. We bring the cells up here to the stem cell lab, we process them, and then we put them in these liquid nitrogen freezers. Creating the potential to cure other genetic diseases. And then these genetically modified stem cells are returned to the patient. There's probably a week in change. I started noticing that lingering pain just disappeared. About one in every 365 African-American babies born in the U.S. has sickle cell disease. Aware of the stigma, Jimmy found the life-saving clinical trial on his own. So the article was actually about a patient named Victoria Gray, first patient to get her genes edited to alleviate her sickle cell. People say I'm brave. Victoria was brave. She was the first. Little does Jimmy know, it's good to meet you. It's good to meet you too. Oh my God. Victoria, who in 2019 became the first to volunteer for the then experimental CRISPR gene therapy. Thank you for sharing your story. Here in person to meet him for the first time. I, you don't understand how your story has completely changed my life. Seeing how excited you were to be the parent you've always wanted to be. Yes. That was in the same stage of becoming a father. I chose to do the gene therapy yeah. treatment for my kids. I wanted yeah. to fight to live for them. No matter if that meant being the first to try something new, wow. I had no more time to wait on someone else to be brave. It was, wow. it was my time to yeah. be brave for my yeah. children. Wow. Both traveling out of state to Sarah Cannon Research Institute in Nashville for treatment. Despite the long-term unknowns and accessibility concerns, a new hope in treating an often overlooked condition. It's amazing to have been brave enough to open this door. And me personally had the feeling that no one would come for me who would want to invest in disease um, for people who have been overlooked throughout history. My life has been completely transformed. Now I wake up, I get the kids ready for school. Uh, you know, it, it is complete night and day. It, it is a completely different life. We're so happy we could arrange for them to meet like that. And, and gene therapy, it could be a game changer for sickle cell disease. There are many long-term complications, including stroke, severe impairment of your organs, sickle cell, can take about two decades off a person's life. Wow. That's why making treatments like CRISPR available to sickle cell patients, as well as for others with genetic conditions, is so important. Patients who live overseas, including in Africa, which is most affected, hope that it will be approved 
all across the world. How available is it here in the U.S.? That's such a good question, and that's one that people want to know. Um, it, it's very challenging right now, but according to the Health and Human Services Department, many sickle cell patients already have difficulty accessing uh, d effective health care. You know, some insurance providers have already opted to cover. It's, it's a multi-million dollar mm -hmm. uh, treatment, and the Biden administration has created uh, new ways for people to access uh, with Medicaid and a design to lower medication costs and improve access. The program is set to begin, that program in particular, in January 2025. States then will decide to join the program at that time. Mm. Well, we hope they do it. But it can yeah. be such a game changer. I know yeah. you all are involved too yeah. with things like that, with medical things, and you just want something that you think can, can make an impact. Yeah. And it's and not help. just with sickle cell, which is important, but it also can help other gene therapies. It's going to be revolutionary. Right, yeah. could be. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.